please come forward and state your name and address for the record, please. Good evening, gentlemen and ladies. Uh, my name is Burton Fletcher. My address is 3533 Cherry Creek Road, Valdosta, Georgia, 31605. My telephone number is 229-560-8180. I gave uh, our honorable clerk a copy of two uh, documents, one with uh, my photo, which isn't that pretty, and another one with a member of the commission who I won't mention the name for fear of violating rules. Uh, but I do want to make a point about it, and uh, it's on the second page, and I'll talk about that in just a, a moment. Um, my background is in management. I know some of you have MBAs, you've got business uh, degrees and so forth. I think about management. I think about how we do things and how we can improve things. And I have a little different perspective than I suspect some people do. I've only got five minutes, and that's kind of the problem is that we don't have enough time for citizens to interact, I don't believe, in the way they should. So I'm going to get right to the point. We need a commission overseeing our shelter like you see in a lot of cities with uh, specialized areas. You are very busy and you look at the uh, article about the chairman. Yeah, that was five months ago. And in the past five months ago, have we brought forward any ordinances whatsoever regarding animal rescue. Maybe you have, I haven't seen them. I haven't had any opportunity to participate in, in those in a meaningful way. Uh, tonight, uh, I'm going to ask that three letters or, uh, be included in the uh, minutes. My letter of today, which I will provide to you at the end of my uh, discussion this evening. I don't provide it now because I don't want you reading it instead of talking to me or focusing on what I'm saying in my short period of time. And the uh, two articles uh, that I have provided you already uh, this evening. Bottom line is, you've got a lot on your plate. I think you need to have specialists that you can obtain through a commission type system overseeing the shelter. I want to focus on processes, not on people. I'm not here to criticize people. I'm here to say we can do things better. We got a shelter in an out of the way location. That was your decision. According to my notes, that was more than two years ago we had a groundbreak. I'd like to know what we're doing with that shelter. I hear rumors in the community. I hear that we got a budget of $10 million. I don't know what it is, but I believe the public should be involved in the process instead of waiting until we get here and you give us a couple of minutes to say yay or nay when the decision's basically already been made. We need an opportunity to participate meaningfully you need to have open government, a type of government where information is revealed so that I don't have to issue an Open Records Act request and somebody says, it wasn't specific enough. And so we can't give you anything. So you gotta come back and try again to find out what the basic question is, hey, where are we in regard to our commission? You made the decision as a group to put it in an industrial area where people aren't. So if you want to stay with that area, we need to bring the animals out of that area to where people are. Now, the hours of the shelter are 22 hours a week, not very many. But if you look at those hours, those hours are not when parents with their children are really going to be able to visit the shelter. I don't have children, but if I did, I would be bringing my children with me as part of that process. The only hours you have during the weekend are Saturday afternoon. Okay, that's a step. But other than that, I see all the hours as not being uh, suitable for the people you're trying to serve, which is the public. Now, if you're going to keep that location, bring the animals into Valdosta and Hay Hire, and, and just like you had your rescue organizations doing. I would like to see our shelter that's costing us over a million dollars a year. I just a lot of that in salaries. I would like to see that shelter staff being more proactive. I see the folks in equipment being more proactive. I see the uh, folks down in Lakeland being more proactive. They're getting out there in the community. They're taking these animals out there. I would like to see shelter staff going to PetSmart and Tractor Supply. I'm out of time, but that's the problem. You need to hear us, and five minutes is just not enough time. Please look at my memo and consider it 
and please consider a uh, commission at some point. Thank you. Thank you.